Hello friends and followers and welcome to a new video. My name is Smo, I'm a German graffiti artist and today I will show you how I will make this electricity box look like this. And if you want to see the whole process, how I prepared everything, how I managed it to paint these tiny details on such a small surface, check out this video. So first of all, let's pack the cans. Masking tape, carpets, sandpaper, a grounding color, clear coat, fresh rollers, I need my mask, garden tools like this one here, this blade tool. You don't know where the electricity box is standing and if it is uh, 400 meters away from the next parking space, uh, it is always very helpful to have a hand card with, with you. you. Camera equipment is not so necessary, but for this project I take this with me. Sometimes I use these markers for super tiny details. I arrived, but I don't see... Don't see electricity box. Okay, this is the beauty. This is how it looks like now. There is already some kind of old color on it and uh, we'll have to sand it all. This will be a lot of work. Cheerio, let's start. First of all, let's remove some of the green. Okay, first step done. Next step is, um, you see there, there is all this fiberglass and uh, when you sand it, the fiberglass, you breathe it. And it is very dangerous to breathe fi fiberglass. So always wear a mask while um, sanding such a box. Very dangerous. After one and a half hour of preparation, I can finally start to paint on this electricity box. And this is the reason why I always hate it when people come to me and tell me you can make a living out of your hobby. No, um, sanding electricity boxes definitely is not my hobby. But now comes the painting part and this is the part that I really, really like. Uh, so yeah, let's start. Okay, this is just a rough sketch for orientation um, and now I will start to make the background first. After that I will do the, uh, the tree and after the tree I will make the birds so that everything has sharp lines and I won't destroy the bird with painting the background. First of all I fill everything pretty dark and then I put the lighter colors over it. Just these stupid dots that I made here, blurry dots, make it even look like there would be a forest and some light would come through the, through the leaves. And I work from the darkest colors to the lightest colors and I will put some lighter colors over it now. And so I will um, make the, the, the effect of some light coming through some leaves a little bit more effective. <laughs> Okay, this is the first layer and now I will add some leaves in the background. One trick to give this dusty mess a little bit more sharpness is to use one of the empty spray cans, uh, spray a little bit of uh, color on the bottom and use a brush and then you can uh, easily put some some highlights, some reflections. And we are basically done with the background.
I basically try to imitate the structure of the of the tree bark. I will go in there with a brush too to give it a little bit more kind of a texture. I'm pretty satisfied with the tree bark already. This was an arm of the tree and it is uh, cut down and so I make a little bit of highlights over there. And even if you have the feeling that while you're painting that your structure does not really look like you want it to look like, just continue. It will figure out well at the end. Especially if you work with br brushes, it is so easy. And now we let's make a little brownish light coming from this side here. Ah, this makes it so beautiful. And this is the master key. Just use some brushes. Who says, who says that it is necessary to paint everything with the spray paint? I know a lot of people say that it is not real. <laughs> but I don't care at all if something is real. I just paint for the uh, for the result. It is all about the result, and if the result is good, every every tool is allowed, in my opinion. And we add a little bit of the brownish color in the shadow here too. Ready! You can even add the inside of this tree. Isn't this cool? Needs a little bit more shadow. Like this. <laughs> Oh, this is this is so much fun. Okay, I would say it's time for the birds. Let's paint some birds. And as usual, I first fill in the bigger parts with the spray can only. And after that, I define the details with some brushes. I will take another brush. So this is an old brush that is already completely full with color. You can break it because the, um, the spray paint gets so hard that it doesn't matter at all. Now it's broken, like you can see. All the, the brush things here are free, the hairs. And now I can, I can use one for light colors and one for dark colors and make the face of the beautiful bird. Just make one light dot in there and suddenly he's living. It's pretty dope. For a quarter of an hour uh, I'm satisfied. Maybe I will do some tiny adjustments, but uh, now I will pa paint the, the robin and uh, after that maybe I will do somewhere some tiny details. By the way, the clear coat looks white at the beginning, but it is not white. When it gets dry, it will be clear. And now it's time to show you the final result.
Yo friends and followers, that's it for today. I hope you learned something about painting on such a small surface with all these tools that I have used. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you were a little bit entertained and we see us in the next project.